why aren't you healing? Maybe you're doing all the things you think you should be doing. You're going and doing your exercise class, you're eating healthy, you're eating all that organic stuff. Why aren't you healing? You're going to see your specialist, your doctor, and you're doing all that kind of stuff. And maybe you've had surgery. And why aren't you healing? Why has it come back? Well, I'll tell you why it's come back. It's because you've got unresolved stuff. Stuff. Everyone's got stuff. We're just walking stuff machines, walking around this planet. Everyone's got stuff, traumatic emotions from the past, survival emotions which are built upon since childhood. And that what they've done is they've created a situation where you're in continual protection mode. You're like a porcupine. So imagine a porcupine is crawling along and then a predator comes. What does the porcupine do? It sticks up its spines until the predator goes away. And then once the predator goes away, the porcupine puts down its spines and it goes around continuing feeding and looking for other porcupines and having a good time. What human beings do is when we have keep revisiting past hurts, tr past traumas, past experiences, we trigger those survival emotions and we trigger survival mode like a porcupine. What happens is we stop. We stop. We get stuck. We stop growing and producing and doing all that good stuff that makes us healthy. Healthy. We just stop like a porcupine with our spines in the air because our unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something that's vividly imagined and something that's real. So when you go back to that past hurt and past trauma, your unconscious mind thinks it's real. If I ask you to, I mean, I've done this before with you. If I ask you to imagine a lemon, a big juicy lemon, maybe the size of the sky, and then imagine that, that you know, this big juicy lemon is getting squeezed and, and, and cut, and then this juicy lemon, and what's happening to your taste buds? You're starting to salivate. But that's not a real lemon, it's just an imaginary lemon that, that you are visualizing. So the same thing when you picture someone that's hurt you and something, what happens is your body goes into fight or flight mode. It thinks it's under attack because your unconscious mind can't perceive the difference between something vividly imagined and something that's real. So those people that hurt you in the past, they're still hurting you now. Because every time you go back to that memory, you trigger that neurology, those feelings, those emotions, and they come back and your body goes into fight mode. What happens when your body goes into fight mode? You become like a porcupine, stick your spines up in the air, your immune system shuts down and you stop. You're stuck, you're in protection mode. You're not in growth mode, you're not moving around and feeding and, 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 and growing and doing all that stuff that keeps you happy because ultimately growth is what makes you happy, doing stuff, yeah. so. That's what you do. That's what you do when you work with a therapist who can help you shut down these, these traumas, work through these traumas, associate into them and heal them. And that lets your unconscious mind know that these, these events, have you've learned your lessons and you've moved on. Because the unconscious mind, you know, human beings have such an interesting brain. We've got three brains. We've got the hypothalamus right in the center. It's like a reptilian brain. We've got this limbic brain, which is, allows us to have social awareness. And then we've got this bigger brain, this neocortex, this prefrontal cortex, which does all the stuff like our taxes and, and algebra and, and logic and all that kind of stuff. But when we go into fight and flight mode, we are immediately operating from a hypothalamus where we are just totally animalistic. And what happens is we shut down our immune system and, we, and we're in fight mode. We're por this porcupine that's trying to protect itself. And when a porcupine is trying to protect itself, human be a porcupine will, once the th th threat goes away, it will continue feeding and doing all that stuff. But a human being, we can, we can pretend and imagine that there's a threat, even though there's no threat, even though that person may have died that hurt us years and years ago, we still think about them, we still have feelings about them, which, which put us into unresourceful emotions and trigger our defense responsibles, responses like a porcupine. Okay, so that's what, why are you not healing? That's, that's why, absolutely that's why. Unless you live next to a nuclear reactor or you've drunk some poison water, or you've done some, done some which that's another topic, we'll go into that, talking about fluoride and that. Hey, that's, that's why because you haven't worked through your stuff and you need to work through your stuff. This is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can hear life now. Have an awesome day.